So next we're going to talk about the addition and subtraction of fractions. So, um, oh, we use pink already. Let's use something else. Blue. Addition, subtraction of fractions. And you, if you remember, before we were talking about how to add and subtract fractions, we need to have a common denominator. So, we're going to use that common denominator which we can find using our lowest common denominator method. And I'll show you here in a second. And then we can add and subtract and do whatever we need to do for those questions. So for a first example, I will have three over four and I want to add two over four. Now, the first thing we wanna do is check those denominators. These two are the same, so we can just add the top. So it would be 3 plus 2 over, we don't add and subtract denominators, it just stays the same, over 4. So we get, ooh, this is an equal sign. <laughs> so we get 5 over 4. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so now we're going to grab an example where we have to look at that denominator. So I have 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3, and I need to know what that is. Okay, so lowest common denominator. Well, what if we can first try by writing down multiples. So I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and forever. And I have 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, and forever. So from here, we know that 6 is our lowest common denominator, our LCD. Now the nice thing about this is one of our denominators is already 6. So I only have to change this one fraction. And how can I do that? Well, 3 times 2 is 6, right? And we need 6, as we can see over here. So I'm going to multiply the whole fraction by 2. So I have 1 over 3 times 2 over 2 is how we can write it. So that's 1 times 2 and 3 times 2. So I get 2 over 6. Okay, so then if I rewrite this, I'm going to have 1 over 6 plus 2 over 6. Now we know we can add the numerators, same denominator, and we get 3 over 6. Pretty good, right? Now, if you take a little bit of time to notice on here, this is not in lowest terms. So we can actually use the reduction of fractions we learned about. And we know they both can be divided by 3, so our answer for this is actually going to be 1 third. Nope, 1 half. <laughs> My bad. Dividing by 3, not by 2. 1 half is our answer. Okay, so that's using... There's a little bit of multiplication in here, and we're going to talk about that further after this and subtraction. Um, 
but you can tell it's really not going to be that hard. Um, and we're also combining that with our reduction that we just learned, which is super cool how it all comes together. <coughs> Excuse me. So in next, our next example, one third plus one fifth. Now I want to do the same thing. Three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, blah, 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 blah. Five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and forever. Now coming in here, fifteen is our LCD. So we're going to need both of these to change to 15 since they're 3 and 5. Okay, so first if I have 1 over 3, I'm going to have to multiply that, both my numerator and my denominator, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and my 1 over 5 will have to be multiplied by 1, 2, 3. So if we do that, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15. There we go, that's what we needed, 15 in our denominator. Same thing here, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 5 is 15. Again, 15 is what we want. So now I have, I can rewrite this again, 5 over 15 plus 3 over 15 equals 5 plus 3 is 8 over 15 and that is in lowest terms so we can just leave this as our answer okay next let's do some subtraction so we'll start off with an easy one I have 1 over 2 minus 1 over 6 Oh, maybe maybe not so easy. Let's let's take a look. They're not the same denominator, so what am I gonna have to do? Let's look at multiples. Two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. Six, two, four, oh, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> six. Oh, I already see that six is in both two and six. So I don't have to change this one, which is super nice, we love when that happens, but one half is going to have to switch to a 6 denominator. So I know that 1 over 2 is going to have to be multiplied by 1, 2, 3, and we know 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6, and of course that's what we need. So if I rewrite this, I get... 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6, right? Yep. And that is equal to 3 minus 1 over 6, which is 2 over 6. Hmm, pretty straightforward. Again, if we take a look at this, this isn't in lowest terms, so I can end up dividing by 2 each, and I get 1 over 3 as my answer in lowest terms. One more example for subtraction, and then we'll take a look at multiplication of fractions. Um, but first, we're going to look at 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6. Now again, something we can realize without even having to write anything down is 3 is a factor of 6, which means that 3 times something equals 6, so we can get the same denominator just by changing this fraction. So I know that I have to take 2 over 3 and times it by something to get something over 6. Ooh. To get something over 6. Okay. But I know that 3 times 2 is 6, so 2 is going to go here. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. So I get 4 over 6. Now I'm going to take 4 over 6 and subtract 1 over 6, which ends up giving me 4, ooh, 4 minus 1 over 6, which is 3 over 6, 
which again just ends up being in lowest terms 1 over 2. Awesome. Practicing our reduction at the same time as our subtraction and addition is always the best. <laughs> so next, like I said, we're going to talk about the multiplication of fractions. And we talked, or we did a little bit about this above without even discussing it. it. Must be way up there. But essentially,